Morning folks, Guy here, Latitude Travel Services in the far north of Australia. Uh, we had the Coral Coast Triathlon in Port Douglas on Sunday, it was run and won by uh, Pete Jacobs. No surprise there, he just cruised through, to be expected of course, no doubt, but the impressive thing, second place, uh, Anthony Rule. Really well done mate, good way to celebrate your 28th. The Coral Coast is the oldest Olympic distance triathlon in the country. It's had a few moves in its history. Uh, it's been in Port Douglas the last couple of years and starting to get some good attention again, courtesy of the good folk at USM events. Well done. Anyway, that aside, more importantly, this weekend coming up is the big one, the Cairns Ironman. Uh, it's going to be huge. There's going to be a lot of interest in the half as well, the half Ironman. There's a huge field in both events. I'm going to tip Matty White to win the uh, full. Cam Brown is going to be a, a challenge to beat, but uh, he might have just done a bit of a, a bit of a hard job in Melbourne. So I will say Matty White to win Cairns Ironman. I hope so anyway. Uh, hell of a good bloke, Matty, and he actually works for a living too. Um, he's uh, he's a he's a champion. Anyway, that aside, and uh, hopefully my mate Timmy Burkle or uh, or Luke McKenzie, they get up in the half. I suppose I'm going to go with you, Timmy, don't I, mate? Anyway, that aside, uh, we'll see what happens. There's going to be a huge crowd, crowd of cast of thousands down around uh, Cairns for that race this weekend. So get down there, check it out. It's certainly worthwhile for the fun. Iron Man is always huge to watch. The weather has not been overly exciting or helpful to us, unfortunately. Uh, we're at top of 24 only today, which is pretty light on this time of year. Jumpers are coming out for the locals and jeans and shoes for those who own shoes anyway. Uh, they are getting a bit of a run at the moment. Uh, it is a little bit on the overcast side and there is a few showers forecast for later in the week so it's a little bit, uh, a bit disappointing but perfect for racing Ironman triathlon that's for sure. Keeps it a bit cooler. Nothing wrong with that. Um, makes for very fast times. Anyway, that aside on the tide front, excellent at the moment. Um, low tide 10.30 in the morning which means about 11 o'clock up the day tree. So if you're heading up the Dane Tree for the day, it's perfect. Get out and see uh, River Cruise, Bruce Belcher, he's the man. I keep telling you that. Bruce Belcher's River Cruises. Hit the 11 o'clock session, why not go out and see what's happening on the Dane Tree. Uh, perfect for it, getting up the Dane Tree when it's a little bit uh, overcast and grizzly. That's what it's about. It is a rainforest after all. Anyway, ran well out of time. I've